you see it's so easy to gaslight kenyans uh, kenyans who have low self-esteem low confidence because uh, that uh, the cs of sports ababu namwamba has been you know very public with uh, certain influencers here and there that suddenly he's a uh, he's a problem suddenly he has issues eh? uh, and so kenyans now on twitter they've just been trolling and tagging even the influencers and, and i'm wondering uh, how does this correlate to corruption bad governance i i, I need eh, I, I i have i have built uh, my you know i have a tendency of not listening to my oppressors who are pointing out the wrongdoing uh, when a thief is shouting thief i am now I'm, I'm there i'm wondering what's the catch here what are they trying to hmm? what are they trying to uh, to to deflect or to, to divert our attention from I, I have made it my business i cannot listen to kemani shongwa whether he's talking what or not i cannot listen to uh, samson cheragay whether he's saying what because these are the people who have been behind the most toxic Eh, the most volatile rhetoric that we have seen within the past couple of months. Eh? Something which was supposed to be done a long time ago, these, these uh, can we call it bipartisan meetings they are, they are having. Every time Kimani Ishongo was just trying. And then the, the problem is we have media, we have Tuko, we have Kenyans. Eh, I know Kenyans is run by NIS, but we have Tuko and all these other guys who are more than willing to share their crap from their tweets. So me, Kimani Ishongo cannot tell me that somebody is corrupt. Cheragai cannot tell me that someone is corrupt. We need to know what the game is over here. For me, if you ask me, I, 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 I don't have a very uh, high opinion of uh, whatever uh, Ababu Namwamba, the CS of sports. But at least he's, uh, we have seen some form of effort for him to redistribute some opportunities from bureaucracy to the young people. You know, with the committees that he's been setting up. Forget about as he had for a moment that you just know that that committee had so many other people who are qualified who are experienced who are deserving of those positions that they had yeah? and, and uh, you know so 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 we need to understand uh, do, do you think these guys like young people do you think they they, they are fans of sportsmen and women this is the same parliament that is discussing how to ban TikTok. And you think now suddenly because they've profiled, uh, they've created a, a, and curated a certain profile of this cabinet secretary talking about he's paying first class flights for I don't know which ladies. Now listen over here. How much is a first class flight? Uh, maximum 200,000, 300,000 to whatever destination they are going to, 400,000. So what is that? Do you know how, how much these guys steal every day? They steal 2 billion. You, you, you heard it from uh, uh, from Uhuru the last time he was in office. These guys bomb over two billion every day. How many phantom projects have been launched ever since uh, uh, Ruto became president? Suddenly, this guy who has at least redistributed some opportunities from the high levels of bureaucracy. Eh? And then it's not the work of the cabinet secretary because I know the sports act very well. It's not the work of the CS. To go and meet uh, i don't know uh, athletes who are coming from abroad congratulations to all of them for winning and representing and flying the country the flag of the country but th there was a decentralized uh, platform called sports kenya which was supposed now to engineer and to manage everything that is happening as regards to athletes welfare federations and everything so sports kenya uh, under the ministry of sports so if anyone has failed it's sports kenya sports kenya are the guys who've consumed billions they, they've been given money to eh, to build stadiums they don't do anything you saw in your stadium they only did the exterior they didn't do even the toilets they didn't do the playing unit and they had closed that stadium for five years ababu namwamba his biggest problem is not fast sucking everyone at sports kenya should have sucked the management all of it he should have sucked the stadium managers all of them that's his first issue and he's allowing himself, he's, uh, he's uh, embroiling himself in his own scandals because of the inertia. You, you should have moved very fast. You suck these people so that you now have the de deliverables. You now tell people, we have already fixed Nyayo Stadium. We have, but now one year has crossed. You see, that those, but he's no different from Akina Moses Kuria. Moses Kuria and the, uh, other people in the government have been, they have sold us. <laughs> mercury sugar sugar that had been condemned in 2018 is in circulation or has been in circulation you, you you guys are getting sick 
Because of what? Because of this uh, drinking mercury sugar. And why isn't he being profiled? Now look at him, what he's done today. Now they are launching something called, I don't know, uh, they, they, they are hawking oil, uh, cooking oil. These guys went and imported oil. They wanted to force the local manufacturers to buy it by force. They refused. So now they've created their own vending machines to compete with Mama Pima, to compete with the same mamas who you've been supporting the mamambogas and the mamambogas because they are stupid you saw them in moranga singing to okira tene to okira tene you know how stupid your grandmothers and your aunties and your moms they are very stupid first of all they are the ones who misled you to vote for huruto they are the ones who misled you to wake up early to vote for Ruto, and they start telling you imaginary things about god you know the religion is there because uh our, you know the boomers and their relationship with religion has been a very one-sided affair so they listen to what the religious leaders tell them so what the politicians do is they know we just have to bribe the the, the religious leaders and then they'll get these guys uh, into play into our box mm -hmm. so you guys you, you've been consuming mercury sugar now the mamambogas who are there twerking Mm, twerking to music eh, for Kenya Kusha, Kenya Kusha shit show. You are there twerking, now you are going to be rendered jobless. You are going to see how it goes, Bana. These guys have not done anything as regards to Mwananchi because you already gave them the, you, you have already given them the assurance that you don't need to work for us as we were voting for you for emotional reasons, not logical and pragmatic reasons. We were voting for you because we wanted to send somebody home. We wanted to punish this other person. You already gave them yeah, you've already validated that na that narrative. You understand? Yeah? So I don't understand why CS Ababu Namwamba is being profiled as if we have a shortage of corrupt and incompetent cabinet secretaries. I'm of the opinion that when President Ruto was saying that, uh, uh, that, that he knows more about ministries, he knows more about ministries than the cabinet secretaries. I'm of the opinion, and please hear me out. I'm of the opinion that he appointed the most incompetent of CSs uh, so that he can be the one controlling everything. He can be the one in charge of every deal. Uh, he can be the one in charge of everything. I've, I've worked with somebody. You, you know, President Ruto was in something called Youth for Kanu 92 with people like Cyrus Jirongo and Sam Nyamwe. And I worked with Sam Nyamwe when he was in football. And he, that Sam Nyamwe was everywhere. He, he had to write everything. I've never seen stuff like that. Like he couldn't decentralize yeah, the, 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 the office or the federation like give you everything had to run through him everything even if you're buying a uh, tissue paper for the office it had to run through him yeah i've never seen something like that they, they don't believe in empowering people down the food chain they don't believe that is the era of moi these are students of moi moi was that kind of a dictator now uh, to, for a dictator to operate in a in a constitutional dispensation like ours which is slightly progressive i wouldn't say it's the best I think I think there, there was a deliberate attempt for appointing incompetent people so that now you can insinuate yourself so that you can know what's happening. And now what people do, what people normally do is once they see that you've become now a mess, you're interfering with your work, people normally step back. They say there's one honorable PS who resigned uh, after she was moved. And then she said that. Uh, there was some corruption deal. She was being untwisted. And she said, I can't deal with this crap. She moved. Others, what they do is they step aside and they just let you run the show. Me see, I'm earning my salary. I can get a few deals, marupurupus here and there. Let me. But I think for Ababu, Ababu is, because he has been in the system before he has been a minister, he's able to, you know, undercut these guys and, you know, just, I think that's the problem. It's not that he has not delivered because if we were talking about delivery, we were using those as a, as a metrics for comparison. They are more useless uh, cabinet secretary. What has the cabinet secretary of tourism done? She just went to Capital FM the other day and said, oh, hotel rooms, she's charge, charging, charging per day, uh, per person, not per room. And I'm like, they've been doing that, man. I don't remember me paying for per person sharing or what. Me, if I see a hotel is per person sharing, I just uh, swipe. If I'm on booking.com, I just swipe and move to the next one. So what, what nonsense are you telling us? You think that's a revolutionary, uh, uh, mind-blowing uh, achievement that just because you went and now that that's the only statement she has made of sense within the last one year that after one year that she has been appointed. So there's no shortage of useless cabinet in uh, secretaries. Why are you profiling? Uh, 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 Ababu Namwamba, for me, if you ask me, 
I think he's doing something right. I think everything else is just smoke and mirrors. I think uh, paying for a few influencers, that, that's that's chump change for the government. Here there is a bigger <laughs> there's a bigger game, eh? Uh, don't fall for the PR.